Alright everybody, in this video we're going to be teaching you how you can fight the secret boss inside of the new Warlord's Ruin dungeon. Now there is a slight caveat to this in that you will need the Buried Bloodline. As in order to fight this secret boss and get extra loot, you will need to have the Buried Bloodline exotic sidearm from the Warlord's Ruin dungeon, as this boss is part of this weapon's catalyst. On top of that requirement, you are also going to need to have completed the In the Shadow of the Mountain quest, which is the quest that you got the day the dungeon launched, where you have to go find the bones, collect some dark ether tinctures, and blighted wishing glass. Assuming you got those two requirements, you have the Buried Bloodline sidearm, and at least someone in your fire team has the In the Shadow of the Mountain quest actually completed, we are all good to proceed, my man. And let me let you know right now, I didn't have any of those requirements. Shout out to my homies, man. All right, so we're going to begin right after we defeat Rat Hill, the first boss, as the first catalyst puzzle is going to take place in the jail. Now, follow with me here as explaining how this works it might be a little complicated, but it's actually very simple in practice. So basically, you're going to see this taken or behind a set of bars. And when you shoot it, some torches are going to line up. Along with those torches lining up, you're going to have some of those totems spawn. The torches that light up are your key code. Meaning whatever torches pop up, you're going to have to cleanse those corresponding totems. And when looking at the bars in which the torches spawn, the back left, that's one. The middle left would be two. The closest to the left would be three. And then the one on the back right would be four. And now the totems, they are also numbered. If we're still using the bars as a reference, the totem that spawns in the right room when looking at the bars would be totem number one. The one right across from that would be totem number two. The one to the left of number two would be number three. And the one that's across number three, kind of away from all of the other ones near the exit would be number four. You're going to cleanse the same totems the torches that light up will tell you which totems to cleanse. And just to give you a bit of more of an example, I'm going to go ahead and play this clip without my commentary. That's far. Are you supposed to do something after you? Are you supposed to do these in order? There it goes. Sweet. Now the second puzzle is going to take place at the bridge right before the ogre boss. And as we're on the way traversing the area too there, let me just take this time to remind you if you ever want to get your games and DLC for a cheaper price, you can go ahead over to Instant Gaming. It'll be the top link in the description. Save yourself some money on games and their DLC. Now this puzzle is going to follow the same pattern or formula as the first one. We're going to shoot a taken orb. It's going to light up some torches, which is going to once again be our key code for the totems that we need to stand and cleanse. The taken orb is going to be right behind the castle. If you're standing on the bridge, turn around. It'll be up and to the left. And then the torches are going to be along the wall of the castle. And the totems are going to be on the jumping platforms that some of which have the falling snow if you stand on them. You'll see in the video. Now, for this puzzle, instead of having four torches, there are going to be a total of five. Torch one is going to be the one that's closest to the bridge. And torch five is going to be at the far of the right if you're just standing on the actual isolated platforms and you're just looking at them left to right one through five they're really easy to match up because i don't know how to explain it bro it's it's very simple it's way it's easier than the first one and you literally just match up basically with platform to torch in which that you have to stand on it's not really the most difficult one so i'm just gonna go ahead and shut up and give you an example yeah there's five lanterns Here, one, that's two, and three. One, two, three. Come back to your spot, this. Mm -hmm. Did it finish? Yeah. yeah. It worked. There it goes. The fifth lantern is all the way back there. 
I knew I wasn't crazy. No. Right there. Yeah. So Tell me there's four. I can count. All right, now we're at the third and final puzzle, but not the final step. Pat, final step, final shape. Okay. So this big platforming area with the giant taken blight in the middle of it is the location for our third and final puzzle, in which there are going to be four torches here that are going to represent our key code. You read them left to right, and they're going to be around the middle stone door. And similar to the bridge puzzle, they line up with the Taken Totems that go left to right. And the little Taken Blight that you have to shoot to start it, it's going to be right here, right on the door on the very far left from when you first walk in this area. Totem number one is going to be in the top left of the Mountainous Spire. There's going to be like a little ledge that you can see it from. Two is on the edge between one and three. Three is going to be on the floating rock near the Taken Blight in the middle. And then four is on the right next to the door. You're going to see in this clip that I'm going to jump to number two. And my buddy Diz is going to go to number one. As our code is one, two, four. So our buddy Jack is going to go to the fourth one and cleanse it. So we got two, three, and four. So up there, blight, and right. I'll, do, I'll jump to the blight. Thank you. So which one? No, Kree's on the blight. Which way? Where, where am I going? Up there, up to the ledge. Oh shit! Okay. Now, for the last step that you need to do in order to get your catalyst is going to involve this little Toland interact right before the final boss encounter. Destroy the ads, open up the door, and this is where you need to have it in the shadow of the mountain quest completed. As if you don't have it completed or at least have all of the bones, you won't be able to interact with this. As you can see, I was not able to. Shout out to the homies once again. You open up the Tolan portal, you go in, and now you're going to have a boss fight, my man. We are going to be fighting this Taken Wizard. Primeval Font of Blight. I'm not going to mispronounce the name. I'm not even going to bother trying. Nice try, comment section. But this wizard has a very easy mechanic, believe it or not. It is basically the same as almost all of the other bosses in this dungeon. You're going to look at your key code. The torches in the middle, there are a total of six. You read them left to right, one through six. You just cleanse the totems that match the lit up torches. That'll take the boss's shield off, and you can go ahead and go to work. Do that until you defeat the secret boss that is this Taken Wizard, and you will be rewarded with the Buried Bloodline Catalyst. And unfortunately, unlike Ghost of the Deep, you will not be rewarded with an increased exotic drop rate for the Buried Bloodline exotic sidearm. I don't know why they didn't do that this go around since they did it for the last dungeon, but they didn't. However, you'll still be rewarded with some extra loot. Hope you do enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this catalyst down below, as it's actually pretty darn good. While you have Devour up, hits are going to weaken targets. Pretty darn good, man. The gun already has built-in Devour as it is, so being able to apply weaken while you have it up, I, hey, we'll take that all day, every day. Hope you enjoy fighting this secret boss. You guys take care. Consider subscribing. I'll see you in face in the next one. Adios! Front left, back left, back right, front right. That's one, two, three, four. I think. But there's like six of them. There's only four lanterns right there. That's a lot of lanterns. I think. Oh wait, Let's what? See, two, oh, there is six. Two, three, six. two, three, six. Two, three, six. So same difference. Is this six here? Yeah. yeah. I'm cleansing two right now. I got back one right here. You know what Go. I hate about Let me get some these melee kills and burn fists. The one thing I hate about hating about the game is that it's seriously a considering song for Good day's a number wizard! Good day's a number! There we go. Mid. Like this game. Oh, because that level was supposed to be. Get him, get him, get him, get him! Fucking grapple melee got wasted like me last night. Yup, up, 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 up. Hey, come back here. Hey, come back. I have no idea this sucks. Yeah, that's not going to take a second. Punch. 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 Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, punch. What do we got? One, two... One, two, five. Five. Where she's standing on. I'll go stand on five. 
Oh, okay, thanks. I, I got those. I did one by a crazy taxi. Someone did two? Where's two? Right there, you're right. Come on. Oh, crazy. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna look the same. I'm not even a Titan, you fing <laughs> dick! Le hey, what if I told you, Jeff, that this is a million percent of warlock? He's a simple farmer. Kick your ass, dude. Yay! I turned her into a green ball. Oh, freeload, freeload! Let's go, freeload! Nice, they got the catalyst. Hey, good shit, homies, good shit.